Dear students, welcome to the graduation ceremony for the Master Students of Political Science at Leiden University. Today is a time to celebrate, but it's also a bit of a sad time. I'm standing here by myself in the beautiful auditorium of the oldest university building in the center of my hometown, just wishing that you could be here with us. So in that sense, it is really a sad time. These are not just sad times, these are also very interesting times we live in. We are living through the biggest crisis since World War II, the corona or the COVID-19 crisis with lockdowns, an economic crisis, a health crisis. Uh, it, is, it is quite a time to live through. But we're also living in a time where the United States is preparing for elections, and this is a period where some people say that the democracy in the United States might be at stake. We're living through the rise of China. We're seeing an increasingly assertive role for Russia. We are taking note of the ambitions of the European Union. Think of the climate agenda that is being sharpened almost every month. And of course, we're looking at the rise of extreme right in many countries. So there's a lot happening in this world. And that is, I think, why you choose to study political science. And it's been our aim in this program to provide you with the intellectual tools to gain a better understanding of the world we are living in. For instance, in the class I taught, crisis management, we focused on the causes of crisis. We looked at the patterns of crisis management. We looked at crisis communication, examples of excellent communication, examples of not so good communication. We looked at how politicians make tough decisions in a crisis and how, in the end, they're subjected to processes of accountability. We analyzed in our class the earliest phase of the COVID-19 crisis, predicting, trying to predict whether we would even get back together in class. And we did never have our final class. And I hope all the students had similar experiences in their classes, where they learned to use theoretical tools to analyze what's going on in our world. I also hope that you are thinking about how we can use these tools to make it a better world. We have seen an excellent group of young people joining our program. We enjoyed working with you, and we can't wait to see where you will end up and what you're going to do. But first, we will do what we came here to do, the graduation ceremony. Sit back and enjoy. Hi, this is Dr. Matthew Longo from the Faculty of Political Science, and I am here to say congratulations to all the master's students who are graduating. You know, normally this happy occasion we'd commemorate with a, a speech and handing out diplomas, etc., in person, which we can't do this year because of COVID. And what we didn't want to send you off without being able to say goodbye in a slightly more intimate way. And so what we've done is created a collection of videos from the different faculty members that taught in the master's program uh, to say congratulations and goodbye personally. Uh, I will start with my own short story and then kick it to the other short videos. Uh, this is the third year in which I've taught in the program uh, at the master's level. First, the short seminar of state citizens and migrants and also the thesis seminar on borders and migration. And I just can't say strongly enough how impressed I am by everyone that made it through the program uh, you know, the program, as I had set it out, was very empirical. Um, in particular, kind of empirical work that is hands-on. Uh, it's interpretive, it's ethnographic. It really requires the student to go out and uh, meet the subjects of study. And of course, that wasn't possible for a lot of students because of COVID. And yet, uh, so many students came up with new plans, or they adapted their plans, they did something radically different, radically new, uh, to accommodate this difficult circumstance. And I can't say how impressed I am uh, with what came out of that. So congratulations, best of luck in the next steps and whatever uh, you, pursue, you pursue after this. And I really hope you enjoy, um, you enjoyed your time with us and good luck. So here are the remainder of the videos. 
Hi everyone, uh, congratulations to all of our graduates. I've had the pleasure of uh, supervising some of you in the Master Thesis Seminar, and I've been really impressed with the way that you dealt with the terrible circumstances that we found ourselves in. I know that one of you even had to pack her stuff overnight to fly back, relocate uh, to the United States. Um, so you should all be really, really proud of the way you coped with this and still manage to deliver and hand in some excellent theses. So congratulations, best of luck to all of you on what's uh, coming next. Bye bye. Congratulations, everyone. Some of you were in my Dutch politics class. For some others, I supervised your theses. You all did great work. I want to wish you the very best in the rest of your endeavors. Congratulations, everyone. Um, it's a bit sad we can't have this in person, but I uh, nonetheless want to congratulate you once more um, and reiterate how proud we are of the thesis you ended up writing. Many of you uh, learned about the joys and sometimes the frustrations of doing research. Um, I hope this will be useful. Please stay in touch and congratulations again. Dear students, congratulations, you made it. You have a master in political science. My name is Rose van der Haar and many of you follow my course Conflict and Cooperation. I also gave a thesis seminar. Among others, I supervised Jaro, Cindy, Jaap, Rebecca, Ina, Gavin, Simon and Istvan. I wish you all the best for your future. Take your time in figuring out what you want and don't want to do. And remember, education doesn't stop after your graduation. We should keep on learning. Have a fantastic day and celebrate your graduation. You deserve it. So this is a message for the master thesis students and in particular for the students graduating from the visual thesis seminar. What can I say? Um, congratulations, you made it. I think it's been uh, quite a crazy year for everyone, not only because of the pandemic, but also because of this new pilot project, this idea of do doing visual thesis. And you all ended up uh, taking it very seriously. You ended up working probably more than you expected and probably more than uh, your colleagues, um, but hopefully it paid off. I think for, for me and for Albert, Mirka, Sergio uh, and Stefan, uh, I can say that it's been an amazing experience and hopefully it will be uh, a really good basis for the years to come. So again, congratulations. Uh, we'll be in touch soon for the follow up on your projects. But then in the meantime, I wish you all the best and uh, good luck in your future careers. Bye. Hi, students. So, most of you might not actually recognize me, but you probably heard my voice before. And why is that? Because you probably took the uh, intro uh, to Research Design Spock, and I was one of the two instructors with Dr. Uh, Tom Laverze uh, teaching it. So basically, I was the first voice that you heard in the program, right? Just before you start even great debates. And it seems fit that you hear my voice again before you finish uh, the master's program, right? Um, little did we know when we embarked on this the Spock adventure in August 2019 or September for some of you, uh, which was a first for me, first online lecture and for first probably for most of you, that this would become the new normal in education, online lectures. And while stress was an experience for both you and me, I do think we uh, came out maybe a little bit better uh, prepared than many for what would come and what would become the state of affairs for a little while longer, right? We're still in our bedrooms watching videos or uh, offering online lectures, hopefully not for too long. Um, but the Spock was also a great experience, I, I hope for you, but for me it was a great experience because I managed to read and evaluate a lot of early interesting projects that would become full research papers by the end of the program. So as thesis supervisor in the fall of 2019, and then again as a second reader for a lot of the thesis that you wrote in the spring of 2020, I was really happy to see that some projects uh, expanded and became, I think, worthwhile uh, contributions to scholarship, which demonstrate, I think, great efforts and maturation of uh, students under uh, really adverse circumstances, really. Uh, thesis writing and finishing a master program under uh, the unprecedented and stressful conditions, I think, of spring 2020 is really an exploit. So you should be really proud of your achievements. 
Um, and I'm sure it's going it, to, it was, a, although the, all, as difficult as it was, I think the, the great scholarly, professional and personal experience that came out of it will help, I think, in the future. So really to conclude, thank you. Uh, for, again, first for your attention to our lectures and especially to all the advice we gave and comments on a lot of the revised uh, thesis drafts. And bravo, again, for making all the way and for coming out with such great um, out, uh, you know, papers. And all the best, again, on your future professional endeavors. And also, please, keep in touch. Let us know what you're doing. We're always happy to hear from students. All the best to all of you. Thank you. for the academic year 2019-2020 consisted of Dr. Maria Spirova and myself, Michael Mefford. We reviewed nine theses completed during the year from both fall and spring semesters and nominated by their supervisors. Let me begin by saying that the jury was impressed by the quality of all theses submitted for the award 
The thesis reflects a great variety of theoretical and methodological approaches in our discipline, from game theory and more sophisticated statistical analyses to interpretive methods and interviews, now even including theses using visual methods. So well done to all the nominees and their supervisors. Still, we had to choose one thesis to win the award, and the student is Hugo Tart from the International Organization Specialization with a thesis titled Explaining the Spitzenkandidaten's Institutional Emergence in the European Union. The thesis was supervised by Martin Moss and Matthew Di Giuseppe served as a second reader. The jury found that the thesis stood out in the group of excellent theses in terms of theoretical development, methodological acumen, and empirical execution. It develops a sophisticated theoretical framework that combines principal agent theory and transformationalist democratization theory to explain the recent emergence and development of Spitzenkandidaten in the European Union. The analysis is conducted with a theory-oriented process tracing method, drawing on official documents and secondary literature to explain the interactions between the EU's main organs, the European Parliament, the European Council and the European Commission. It argues that the emergence of the Spitzenkandidaten can be explained as a rhetorical instrument deployed by the European Parliament to attain constitutional goals related to the nomination procedure for the President of the European Commission. The system has not been internalized yet, because the European Union member states perceive the democratic deficit claim to be unfounded. In short, the thesis not only does an outstanding job of advancing on existing complex theories of European integration, but supplements this with a thoughtful and convincing empirical analysis. And I want to quote a more personal message from the supervisor Martin Moss. He writes, any supervisor would want a student like Hugo to supervise. He had a clear interest in explaining the adoption of the Spitzenkandidaten in the European Union, showcased a very sophisticated understanding of relevant theories, and diligently set about answering his research question. I admire Hugo's ability to respond to feedback while sticking to his guns when he needed to. Should Hugo decide to continue his academic trajectory, I hope we'll see him in the hallways of Weinhafen again soon, on the other side of things, with Hugo supervising a future batch of master students. Many congratulations on a well-deserved prize. These were the words of the supervisor. In the spirit and on behalf of the jury, congratulations and good luck. Well, hello everyone. Uh, good to see you all again, uh, although it is in these uh, digital circumstances. Um, Aisha, looking at this, you are uh, one of the lucky ones, uh, just as I, uh, we are graduating today. Uh, I think it's really nice that we've made it so far, and I think it's good to uh, basically have a look back at how our studies went, uh, what we felt about it, basically. Um, so when I actually joined the master program, my name is Danny, by the way, maybe good to mention for the ones who don't know me. Uh, I actually did the parties, parliaments and democracy track. Uh, and when I started, I was not really sure what to expect. So I did a bachelor thesis here at Light as well, and I really enjoyed it. So I had, well, good spirits coming into the masters. Uh, and they basically never disappeared, although, well, uh, COVID came along and this <laughs> made it a little bit more difficult, let's, uh, let's put it that way. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed studying here. So a few things uh, I was thinking about earlier this morning to, to say to you guys was one thing that I really liked was the international environment of our classroom. So we had people from all over the world and I learned things about regions I basically never imagined learning. Uh, so even regions I might not even have known that they existed before doing this master's. So I think that's, that's already a good thing. And uh, another thing I really liked was the way teaching was set up here. Um, really small groups in which we had a lot of time to discuss. Uh, I might have disagreed with some of you guys, I hopefully no hard feelings, but uh, there was really an opportunity for all of us to basically voice our opinions, really uh, get yourself thinking on what you yourself want to, what yourself want to argue and what you oneself want to do. And of course it always ends up into uh, in a master thesis. 
Um, and that's why I also really want to ha give a compliment to the teaching staff here at Leiden because I really felt there was always an open environment to well, basically uh, bring your own ideas, discuss them and really go off the grid. Um, and I think that's a really good thing, so I would definitely recommend uh, keeping that into the master program. Um, and the way the, the institute really looks at master students is something I think is really nice. So they really see you as something, someone to take serious. So they, they are well basically uh, ready to listen, uh, really up there for you and really want to, to, to bring you everything. So if there are lectures from other departments or other uh, universities, they really well bring you to it and well basically say that it's, it's there. Um, of course, it's not all perfect, so uh, we all had the hard times during our studies. Uh, I once worked all weekend on a statistical uh, assignment and then ended up five minutes late handing it in with uh, a reply email which stated, well, basically I can't accept it. Well, that was definitely, definitely a low and everyone knows how to, when, when you're starting up a master's thesis, it can be really, really hard. So I basically struggled for that with basically a whole month. So what I want to do, what I'm going to do, and how I'm going to do that. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we're sitting here, uh, we've made it, and I think that's, that's the good part. Um, one final thing, of course, I can't really uh, not discuss is, because, is how our year ended up weird, basically, because of COVID, and we all had to be scattered around, and some of you I haven't seen yet, still since. Um, I hope you're all doing doing okay in good health, and I would say uh, we have a proper celebration when everything is over. Cheers. back in the auditorium in Leiden. So let me start by congratulating you and your family with this wonderful achievement. And I hope you will find a way to celebrate it today. Allow me to offer a final word. It was great to have you with us in Leiden, and I hope you had a good time. As you venture into this dynamic and complex world, and that's how we always call it, please remain in touch with us. Keep in touch with your teachers and your fellow students. We are all part of a large network, the Leiden University Network, and you will find Leiden graduates wherever you go. It's time to close the ceremony. I wish all of you the best and look forward to hearing from you. Enjoy the day.